In this video, we're going to look at the Arteria 1973 Pre. Hey guys, this is Dr. McFarland and thanks for checking out the channel. I recently downloaded and purchased uh, from Sweetwater the Analog Lab 3, which is a soft synth kind of string, piano, organ, all kinds of different stuff, kind of effects. And I'll go into that in a different video, but for now I really want to concentrate on this 1973 Pre. You can download it for free as a demo and you can only access it for 20 minutes. Um, but here we go, we're, we're gonna check it out, and if I like it, I'm definitely gonna consider uh, purchasing these mic pre's in the future, because I think they can add a lot to maybe your drum sound, acoustic guitar, all kinds of stuff. So let's first of all go over the features. So we have your input gain and output trim, just like you would expect from a Neve 73. And we do have a stereo link on an off button right here. So whatever I do to one knob is gonna you know, affect the other knob as well. Same with this, same with pretty much anything else, okay? So you can double click on everything and it'll get back to zero. And we do have uh, two different types of transformers we can choose from. We got a phase switch for either side. We can take the EQ in and out. And there's also a mid side mode as well. So you can EQ just the middle and leave the sides alone or EQ the sides and leave the middle alone and do all kinds of very cool stuff. So right now you see that you got the left and right for stereo, but if you have it in mid side, now this is gonna be the mid gain and output, and this is gonna be the side gain and output. You can really drive the middle and leave the side alone or vice versa. First of all, let's do this. Let's just go to stereo and we're gonna be listening to a string track that I recorded via MIDI. And I am using the, the Analog Lab 3 soft synth. So let's check that out. We're gonna bypass the 1973 Pre and just listen to the soft synth by itself, okay? <laughs> Very cool. So that sounds like your typical, you know, string pad kind of sound. So now what we're going to do, we're going to turn on the pre and we're just going to see what happens in stereo mode. We're going to link it up when we start driving the input gain. Okay. We're gonna bypass it. Okay, so it adds a little bit of depth there, just a little, not a whole, you know, drastic difference, but you know, it is doing something. So let's crank it up all the way, see what happens. Let's make sure we balance the output so we're not being fooled. Okay, not bad. All right, let's check out the transformers now, see what happens with that. Now that we have the gain cranked, the output trim, you know, set where it's normalized, now we're gonna check out the transformer types, okay? So here's type one. Okay, I'm not hearing a lot of difference right there. Maybe if you crank the output trim, it might change something, but I'm not too worried about that right now. All right, I am going to turn on the EQs here, and we are in stereo link mode. So both EQs are on, and we're going to adjust the left and the right EQ, all right? So let's add some breath and some top end to this uh, string part. Bypass it. So it's a little dark. So you can definitely add a lot of top end there if you need to. 
All right, great. Let's look at the, um, let's turn that off and let's look at the, uh, the first bell curve here. So we can add some low mids, some mid range, some upper mids, anywhere within this range. Okay, so we basically have a very top end. We can adjust the mid range section and we can do a shelf on the low end and have a high pass filter. So we got our lows, low mids, upper mids, and then high end options available for the EQ. First of all, let's go ahead and go here to uh, the high pass filter and see what that does to the sound, okay? All right, cool. So if you really want to clean up that low end and have, let's say you have a really dense mix and you just want to kind of uh, cut out some of that low end to make room for the kick drum and bass and other instruments, you can easily just pull that up and just kind of use your ear and, you know, pull it up to where it starts getting thin and then just back it off a little bit and that'll sound really good. So let's go ahead and do that. So maybe like around in there, like 80 to 100 hertz or so. All right, let's go ahead and do a low shelf. Let's crank this up and see. All right. So even cranking the EQ also pushes the circuitry and the gain of the overall sound, um, which is actually kind of neat. So let's just uh, be you know conservative with that and let's see what happens here. We can boost them, boost some lows. Yeah, that sounds good. You got that low range distortion going on. Let's back off the mic pre a little bit there. So that's kind of fun to cross the filters a little bit. So we're cutting at 160 and below, but now we're boosting it to 20 and above. You know, that we're, that shelf right there. So we're kind of cutting and boosting in the same proximity of frequencies, and we're just kind of getting a nice warm low end there. Okay, so that's cool. So let's check out the, uh, the mid-range knob here. <laughs> So with strings, you definitely want a little bit of mid-range there to give it some oomph and some power. You don't want to cut that because it's going to sound a little bit too thin. All right, let's go ahead and mess with the upper range here. All right, very cool. Let's put this back on a Transformer 1. All right, here we go. Let's look at now. Let's see what happens if we flip the phase of one of them, okay? okay. Got that one. Let's uh, reset these here. And what I want to do is look at um, the mid side options. So now we're going to, we can push the middle and leave the sides alone, or we can push the sides and leave the middle alone. Let's just kind of experiment and see what happens here. So let's put that gain down, leave that kind of in the middle. All right, here we go.
Alright, so I'm kind of pegging the uh, sides a little bit, though I don't really hear a lot. So let's check this out. We're going to do some EQing of these sides. So let's boost some high end and let's uh, let's cut some some low mids here. And maybe we'll we'll give a little, little shelf around 100 hertz or 200 or so, okay? <laughs> So I like that sound. Let's see what happens now if we put that into the mix. All right, so check this out. Let me uh, let me turn it down a little bit. So well, this is a drum, bass, guitar, rock kind of sound, and we're gonna blend in these strings to that sound. So here we go. Very cool. Let's real fast. Let's actually go to the drums here. Let's put the EQ on the drums. I'm using the Steven Slate drums with the, uh, I think one of the metal kits over here. So let's experiment with the uh, mid side kind of stuff. I'm really interested in that. So here we go. Okay. Don't hear a whole lot going on with it. So the mids, let's uh, let's boost that low end a little bit. High pass around 60. Let's give the snare a little crunch, about 3.2. And now for the sides, yeah, let's keep, let's get some breadth in there. Let's maybe bring out the symbols a little bit. Just crunching it up pretty good. Hot pass, low end. Cool, let's see what happens now. We're gonna go to the bass. Let's just have fun with the whole mix here. All right, so we got left, right. Uh, that's fine. Let's put this in stereo mode. Let's just crank this up. Gonna boost some low end. Clean up some of the real, really, really low stuff. Here and start crunching up there. It's really cool. I like that. Let's really uh, add some 
hop in there to the bass. Hello, that sounds great. All right, cool. Let's check it out. Here's my guitar bus. I got both guitars going there. So let's add it in. Let's do it. This is, <laughs> this is actually pretty fun. So, all right, here we go. We're going to do a, let's do a mid side thing with this. So let's add some width to the outside. Let's make sure these guitars are panned hard left and right, which they are. And here we go. And I'm done. All right. I can't use the whole mix now. So <laughs> that's what you get for getting a 20 minute demo. But I think so far that sounds really, really cool. I can see myself definitely using that plugin. And there's two other ones that you can download as well. And all three of them are, let's go to the website here. Uh, all three of them are, where's this bundle? So you can get all three preamps for $2.99. That basically makes it a hundred bucks each. And individually they are, um, let's see what this one says here. Individually they are $149. So you're getting a $50 discount when you buy all three at once. And you can do free demos of all of them, which is really cool. So you got the phase EQ on here. You got the low pass. Bunch of different stuff you can work on right there. I'll put trim, input trim. I put input gain, input trim. There you go. All right, so there you go, guys. I am Dr. McFarland. I will see you in the next video. Keep rocking.